if you've been wondering where I have been for the past two weeks and why I haven't uploaded any YouTube videos, it's because I have been making my dream patchwork skirt. I thought I would be able to do it in a week, but it took me longer than I anticipated. But now she's ready and I absolutely love her. And I also have red hair. I got my hair colored red. They don't look as red in side, but like they are pretty red in the sunlight so yeah let me show you my dream patchwork skirt that i made and then let me show you how i made it so this is the skirt that i made i bought all these different fabrics so it has like this pink gingham and it has this like blue and purple and pink checks and then the third fabric is this beautiful um pink sort of pink and like green checks and it's stunning i absolutely love her i put my like heart and sweat and tears into making this skirt it's a fairly simple skirt to make it just took me too long but you should not be afraid to make it definitely one of the easier projects that i've done and i absolutely love her so without wasting any further time, let me show you how I made the skirt. The first step of any sewing project is deciding on your fabric. I got a pink and green check, pink gingham, and then purple and blue checks. And I wanted the pink gingham to be in the center, and that is how I wanted my patchwork to be. The next step was figuring out what fabric I wanted the skirt belt to be and I decided on the pink gingham. The next step was just marking the length for the belt. I decided to go for I believe 5 or 6 inches and folded it would be a 3 inch belt. After marking with a chalk pen I decided to cut off the fabric for belt. The next step was to basically cut all the fabrics into halves because I wanted to alternate the patchwork pieces and the fabrics as whole were too big to like actually have that patchwork effect. So I cut out every fabric into two little pieces and this is how I wanted to patchwork them. I would start with the blue and purple patched worked to the pink gingham and then pink gingham patchworked to the pink and green gingham. I sewed the wrong sides together for the first two panels and then did it for the next two panels to connect them to each other. Once I was done sewing the wrong sides together, I just sewed a stitch on the right side to give it a proper finish and this is what it looked like when the two panels were sewn together and this is what it looked like when all three panels were sewed together. Next, I sewed down the three other fabric pieces into the second panel and I did the same steps and in total I had two panels with three different fabric patched worked together. The next step was cutting down the length since these were all different fabrics, they had different lengths. I put the panel flat down onto the floor and used my scissors to make all of these panels the same length. The next step was hemming the fabric. I wanted this to be the bottom hem. That is why I decided to fold over a longer length of fabric. And the hemming would stop the fabric from freeing and it would give it a neat finish. I used a straight stitch to hem but you can also use a zigzag stitch. Next step was measuring my waist. If you remember we cut out a fabric from the pink gingham for the waistband of the skirt so I added three or four extra inches to the length that I measured for my waist and after cutting out the fabric I just took it to my sewing machine I used a straight stitch to make it into a belt and the next step was attaching the patchwork panels to the belt so I attached the panels wrong sides together I just handmade the pleats none of my pleats are equal but i didn't want to be like super specific about them being the same length so i just did it for both of those panels just fold the pleat sew it over fold again and this is how the skirt looks with the pleats on the next step was adding the lace i had two different laces this white one that i wanted to 
be along the length of the different panels and I think it would add a really interesting detail. So this was the white, delicate, romantic sort of lace. Next was this colorful multicolored lace. It had like little ruffles. On. I just wanted to layer this lace on top of each other. So I decided for three layers, I cut the lace according to the length of the purple and the blue check panel. And then I took it to my sewing machine. I added the lace and the last step was adding a zipper. I got a long zipper and then I just added it to the sides of the skirt and once my zipper was added, I stitched down the skirt on the sides and this is what it looked like. I absolutely love it. It's such a cute little skirt. I love how all of these panels look together. Also love the pinks and the purples and the blues. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I absolutely love how the skirt turned out. I have so many ideas to style it so maybe I'll probably do a video styling the skirt. The next video is definitely going to be my thrifted summer outfits video. I absolutely love making that video every single season so probably I'll style the skirt in that video and that's it for this video. If you have any DIY suggestions or any ideas about what i should try making next leave them in the comments below and yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already and that's it for this video i'll see you next week with a new video until then bye